Okay, here we go. Back with a uh, new one. Uh, yeah, um, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and um, hit the like button. And if you, you know, and uh, want to say if you're new here, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, and just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. And also, um, I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't tell you to buy, hold, or sell. But what I can do, I can tell you what I'm doing. And also, at the end of the day, as YouTubers, we're just entertainers, and that's all we are. Anyways, let's let's get right into it. Uh, so yeah, uh, the crypto market is looking kind of positive right now. Bitcoin and Ethereum is look like it's trying to you know get back up a little bit, and. On Coinbase, I see that some every day there are some tokens that are pumping every day. Some tokens are pumping 40%, 50%. Some tokens are even pumping like over 100%. You know, but Jasmine, our time our time with Jasmine coin is going to be coming. But yeah, whatever they tried to do with crypto, with this whole um, Sam uh, Bankman free or scam bankrupt free, you know, so that's what we call him in the, in the community now. They're, they're finding out that he 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 has some type of connections with Jerry Gensel or whatever the guy was from this from the SEC and some other people, so we don't know what was really going on. As we know is that that uh, the Gensel guy, the, the head of the SEC, or supposedly allegedly, they could have just been trying to crash crypto on purpose. They could have just been using this guy to single handedly just try to crash crypto, you know, completely. But whatever they did or whatever they were trying to do, it didn't work. But unfortunately, I, but while they were doing it, they stole. This, you know, him and a group of people stole up to two billion of user of, of user, you know, funds from people that was on there that was using, the, you know, the FTX exchange. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, yeah, that's you know pretty much you know uh, what they were doing. But like I said, if they were really tr trying to use this guy to completely crash crypto or or send Bitcoin down to five thousand and send Ethereum back to like fifty bucks or a hundred dollars. You know, if that if that's what they were trying to do, you know, they already, you know, they they failed. Obviously, they we did crash last week. You know, we had a flash crash last week. It scared everybody, you know, but crypto is already pumping again, you know. So, yeah, this guy, he's looking very stupid now. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm banking and people want this guy. I'm, I'm quite sure people want this guy's head. Two billion dollars of, of user funds. And they're finding out more information every hour, every day. They're finding out more information with this guy and a group of people and they're starting to find out and even people who he was connected with, whether it was political or people on wall, some big people on wall street, you know, whatever they're going to, they're going to, you know, follow the money. You just got to follow the money. That's all it is, you know, but that's about it for right now with this, you know, with this whole, you know, um, FTX saga. And as far as the, um, overall crypto market, it's already looking positive again. And I, you know, I said this in a previous videos, I'm kind of glad this happened now because I'm thinking, what if this would have happened right when our crypto bull market was getting ready to start or right in the middle of our crypto bull market, if something like this happened, you know, this would have been terrible, but you know, I'm just glad it happened now, you know, get rid of these bad guys now at, you know, going towards the end of our crypto winter, long crypto winter. Uh, but yeah, that said, you know, and as far as Jasmine coin goes, uh, we're, we're at 0 0.0040 right now. We were at 0 0.0040 last night. So we're, we're holding support between 0 0.0039 and 40 right now. Uh, we haven't went over 40 yet, but we're, you know, I think I have a feeling we're going to get, we're, we're going to eventually get back up into like, into the mid forties. You know, we're, things are looking positive right now. And, and I'm not, I'm not worried one bit, you know, we just gotta, you know, sit back and wait, keep doing what we're doing every other week, whatever, whenever I get, get it, whenever I get a chance, you know, I pick up a little bit more Jasmine. Uh, you know, like I said, I to be transparent. I'm holding about, I'm holding roughly a little bit over 216K tokens of Jasmine right now. And when I get a chance, you know, I try to buy more, you know, here and there. But like, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I got bills to pay and everything, you know. So even me, I, sometimes I get a little bit behind on bills because, you know, buying crypto, dollar cost averaging and just keep buying crypto, it gets, it gets addicting for me. But, you know, but this is going to pay off. Like I said, about six months to a year from now, this is going to pay off. You know, we don't, we only can go up from here. That this whole FTX thing that's just happened, you can't get no worse than that. You know, first it was the the whole Terra Luna stablecoin. Now this, it comes to find out these guys were they were short in Terra Luna. They were yeah, they were part of the whole Terra Luna crash. These guys come to find out, it's it gets it it gets you know worse and worse. But anyways, um, yeah, that's so that's that's pretty much it for now. Where um. You know, we just got to, you know, keep, you know, stay focused. You know, I try to, you know, keep up with the news every day, you know, stay on my portfolio.
because, you know, this crypto stuff is changing every hour. You know, there's no information, you know, with everything, um, you know, going on. And I'm going to, you know, I need to go look at some more, um, some bigger, you know, platforms, YouTube channels, you know, try to find out what, you know, any new information, you know, with our, you know, in our community. But yeah, we don't, we don't need people like this in our community. It makes crypto look bad. You know, I was just talking to somebody recently. This guy, he has a lot of money. You know, he does stocks. And I was telling him about crypto, how, yeah, you know, right now is the best time to get in. But this, you know, he's scared to get in after after what happened with this. You know, people get scared, especially if somebody's new to crypto. They don't want to get into crypto. You got stuff like this happening. I don't blame them, you know. It, like I said, it's not even crypto itself. It's the people like that is making crypto look bad. You know, it's making it bad for the community. You know, we, we don't need people like that in the community. You know, this guy, he, he abused his power. Totally abused his power. Him and his group of people, whatever they're doing now, they have the nerve to, you know, to try to get away. But yeah, we don't need people like this in our in our space. You know, uh, you know, cryptos. People's already talk bad about crypto as it is, even though crypto is the future. You know, it's you know, it is a, a bumpy ride. It's nothing. No, nothing's perfect. You know, Wall Street is not perfect. Stocks is not perfect. Nothing is perfect. There is going to be a, a bumpy road because you know, you got to think. You know, crypto's been around since what, what, 2000, what, what, 12 or 13 or something like that? When Bitcoin would hit mainstream, what, 2000, what, what, 15, 16 or whatever, back when it was like really cheap, you know? Um, but yeah, um, there's, you know, still a lot of FUD, but I highly believe that, you know, we're going to, we're going to bounce back. And I, and I, I'm still going to stand by what I said about Jasmine Coin. I'm still saying that Jasmine Coin, we're going to hit about five cents. About going towards the end of the year into 2023, we'll we'll be at five cents at the low, ten cents at the high. That's still my prediction. Like I said, I could be wrong, but that's my prediction. And yeah, and I I can't wait. You know. Uh, but yeah, hey, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button for post notifications. Hey, I will see you guys in the, uh, in the next video. Hopefully, maybe a couple of hours from now, maybe in the early morning, I'll probably post uh, if I find out some more new information. Um, you know, I'll try to update you guys try to post another um video here uh soon you know here you know just another night at work uh start at nine and i'm here until like 5 a.m but see yeah, i'm about to go ahead and look at some um some bigger um youtube channel see what they're talking about try to you know see if i can find out some new information myself like i said i'm getting information as you guys i'm not an expert you know, I try to find out new information. If you guys find out something new, hey, let me know. You know, comment below. Tell me what you guys think, you know, about this whole FTX thing. How they tried to single-handedly, you know, destroy crypto with this guy. I have a feeling this guy, I think somebody was using this guy to try to crash crypto completely. But but like I said, they failed. You know, they failed. That's just kind of what my theory is. But yeah, hey, I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are having a good uh, Tuesday night. Uh, take care.